This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to show the world the power of a red field. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here with the finale of Resident, uh, sorry, Resident Evil 2, the Claire B path, which officially finishes the game. Because Claire, because Leon A, or whatever A path, doesn't, like it ends the game, but it, you feel like there's a few loose ends. I mean, it's a Resident Evil game. Of course, they're going to leave loose ends. But they're, the, but the B end kind of closes a lot of it. Uh, except for the obvious openings for sequels and stuff like that. So, yeah, in the last episode, we got Cherry to the underground facility. Annette ran in, found out Mr. X is harassing her. So we got to tell him, no, man, get him, get him out of the way. So um, let's go and save her and bl blow this popsicle stand. I think, if I recall, yeah, those plant-like things reappear. I think they spawn again when I, if I... Oh, there's another one back there, but I don't need to fight that one, so we can ignore that. I tend like I could have just ran past that. That one's actually not that hard to avoid, so... Uh, let me combine that. Because what now that we have the P-Room key, I actually need to go back to um, the elevator, go down that, and go into that one uh, where the block puzzle I set up in the last episode, I need to climb that and go and actually go into that door now. But since I have some time, let's go and go here. I could go this, get this later, but I want to go and tackle it now. So uh, let's do let's do this room first. And that way we can discard the card. But we also get we get some ammo if we go in here. This room's another. We could just completely avoid this room. We don't have to actually go in here uh, for purposes of finishing the game. But I'm going to anyway. So. Kill these guys before they do too much damage or uh, or poison me. Because it's possible for them to. It is a slight small chance, but they can possibly poison you. But anyway, there's a light switch. Let's put, turn that on. I don't know why. It, well, I guess this room's here more for ambiance and trying to make it a realistic area. But we never really have to use this room. Activator VAM for base vaccine synthesis. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh. More grenade ammo. Thank you. We'll take that. And okay. Let's go in there. Sweet. All right. And then finally, I can show you what that whole fingerprint thing is all about. So let's go in here. So the thing is, the th bad thing about this is if you don't do this section on Leon's path, you can never go into this room. It's not a big deal, though, unfortunately. Um, you could easily skip this and just be fine. If you never had Leon put the fingerprint in, it'll be red, and you can do your fingerprint, but you'll never get anything out of it because you need both people to do it. So that's the benefit of doing it on Leon's path. But since I did that already off screen, because I had to redo this because the whole uh, my disc stopped working on my original copy. So two or more staff need to pr be present to enter. Commencing with the secondary fingerprint. Verification, please. Yes, I want to proceed. Fingerprint at verified. Access granted. Yeah, now we can go inside this room. That took two. It took a whole two playthroughs to get through. So let's combine this because we're gonna need this for the this room here. I I say the rewards kind of worth it, kind of not really when you think about it. But I'll show you here in a second. Mail. It's kind of not worth it because of we have to fight like multiple liquors in here, which means wasting almost wasting ammo. But luckily I got lucky because I got clipped on the walls. So, but yeah. Huh. Well, this is a creepy room. It even has its own music in here. It looks like the remains of a failed experiment. I kind of almost want to stay in here a second just to, to have you hear the, the soundtrack in here. Because I don't think we hear this anywhere else. Yeah, is that not creepy? Man, I love the music in this. And the, well, at least the Resident Evil's like, the PlayStation versions. The, or PlayStation 1 versions, anyway. The later ones are good too, but I don't know, just something memorable about this, this soundtrack. Anyway, looks like the the looks like in case looks like in case to transport some important ca what <laughs> looks like a, I think it, they meant to put looks like a case to transport some important chemicals, but nothing inside. This is uh, I believe this is the room where Birkin got shot. I believe if I recall. Um, but anyway. It's broken from the inside. I wonder what was inside. And looky here. What's this? It's a full machine gun bullets clip. So, yeah, we get a, another round of uh, machine guns on it. Uh, his atom has been ripped apart. So, yeah, for those who, well, hopefully this playthrough had the machine gun. Because otherwise, actually, I don't know if there's a different reward there if you don't have the machine gun like if Leon got instead. 
I don't know, but this is what I get in this run, so... Yeah, hopefully you have the machine gun, otherwise it might have been a waste. That can't be true. They must be. They must have planned it if you didn't have the machine gun, maybe something else in there, like more, maybe more ammo or something like that, but... That's pretty much it. Yeah, you get all that, and you get more, which is not... The machine gun is nice. It does a decent amount of damage. It's just, you know... I don't know. You almost expect, like, some rare, super rare weapon or something like that, but... Alright, do I want to drop off? I don't think I need the flame ammo for the rest of the game, so I can leave that alone. So we can drop that off, for sure. I might meet, leave the machine gun on, just to, uh... Yeah, let's drop that off. Oh yeah, I need to show off the spark shot. I'm not going to equip it now. I might equip it for the final boss. Uh... I don't want to equip the... I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I run across where I need that. I don't think so, actually. I think I can actually leave leave with, uh, with the machine gun for the rest, rest of the encounter. And then I'll use the spark shot for the final final guy, even though it's probably not the best weapon to use. It's probably better to use against either, like, the liquors or random zombies or stuff like that, but... Who hmm. will? All right, let's go down, down to Goblin Town or uh, Mr. X Town. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Mr. X because that's what the game officially calls him. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned this last episode. I don't remember. If there's specifically uh, a, a document that calls him Mr. X. I think it's just called Mr. X because you know it's it's one of those things you have to give a name to something even if the game never straight up tells you it because. You know, I know there is a, a document somewhere that talks about it, I think, but... Alright, let's push this down. And go see if we can find Sherry. I mean, Sherry's pretty small. She probably, like, hide in a bunch of places before. Although that scene with Mr. X means she was being attacked almost immediately, and yet we we're taking our sweet time, like, solving mini clues from another thing just to wait. And you're like, oh, hold on, Sherry, I gotta get this thing. Oh, sorry, uh, I used the key. The key is useless now, so... Yeah, we can throw that away. Yep. Where are you, Sherry? Hopefully we're in time. Sherry! Help me, Claire! The monster's after your pendant! Throw it to me! Now run, Sherry! As for you, come and get it! I've got what you want! Come on! Here! This is what you're looking for, right? Fine. Then go get it! Sucker! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Well, it ain't Resident Evil unless the place is about to explode. Well, man, was Claire not being sassy there and fiery? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> but got him to the, fall into the pit. Now he's dead. Mr. X is dead. Finally dead for good. Never going to come back. Never going to haunt us again. Hooray! The auto-destruct system is active. Yeah, he's gone forever. Yep, nope, he's never coming back. He, that's it. He fell into a pool of lava. There's no way he can survive that. Sherry's not here. Hmm. Well, I mean, she had to get away, so... All right, let's see if we can go find her. Okay, that's just... Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Where is she? Kids, am I right? But are you kidding me? Mr. X is still alive? No! Yeah, he's still alive. Uh, well, he, I think they did say something about him having like a really high regenerative rate, regeneration rate or something like that. So, 
Man, we gotta find Sherry, but where is she? There's no obvious clues to her whereabouts. So. Well, let's see if we can find her. Come out, come out wherever you are, Sherry. I see you. All right. Yeah, we, actually, what we got to do is we basically have to head back to, uh, uh, that's, we basically have to head out, head up to where Leon and Ada met each other, um, uh, on their playthrough, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to know that other than we just need to explore the facilities, but, but that, yeah, that's where we're supposed to go, so. Uh, for a facility that's about to explode, I'm surprised there isn't a timer yet. Yeah, it's just giving us plenty of time. Oh yeah, the uh, when the uh, when the um, alarm thing goes off, the uh, zombies disappear from this area. So if you wait till now, then it would probably be the best time. So, Sherry, where are you? We gotta get out of here. Place gotta explode. Typical Resident Evil style. Uh, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Sherry, you have to escape. I know I've been a terrible mother, but I still love you. Forgive me. <sighs> Mom! Sherry, we have to go now. I know why he's push she's pushing her because the place is about to explode so we kind of need to go so yeah usually you give a character girl a time to mourn but uh, yeah not enough time now it's a gun it's not loaded yeah that's Ada's gun by the way and what's this what uh what miss uh birkin dropped if i can grab it geez stepping over the poor woman's body will you take the master key i'll take the master key it's not quite the master sword but her fever has subsided and she is resting as though asleep Oh, well, I mean, she's dead, so that's the true sleep. But anyway, let's take a look at the... Take a look at this. It looks very important. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole lot. Well, we know what we need to... Cherry? There you go. Yeah, sometimes if you run way too fast... Like I said in the last episode, we run way too fast. Sometimes Sherry will just curl up in a ball and just sit there until you come back, and you're like, uh... Anyway, yeah, now we need to go back to the main elevator so we can use the master key. See where this goes. All right. Oh yeah, I think we just have to. Oh yeah, now that Sherry, I forgot to notice I have Sherry or someone's in your team. They pop up as a uh, as a picture there. I don't know if I ever pointed that out. So okay, yeah, master keys required. Yes, we do. Emergency elevator. Some random gibberish. Oh, an extra, an extra direction. Let's go. Emergency passage, way is visible. Or, yeah, visible. Will you go down? Yes. I mean, we pretty much, until the timer hits, we can pretty much still scrounge out items and stuff like that, but we've got everything we need, so. Okay, she's repeating. So. At least Sherry's paying. At least Sherry's not like annoying kids that just like. Well, okay, maybe she did. Yeah, we need to power this thing up. See, there's an uh, activation lever for the train motor. The motor cannot be activated due to the insufficient supply power supply. So we need to get this. We need to get this hunk of junk running. So let's see if we can find a find something to help us. So let's get to the back of this thing. Now, probably, well, with what's coming up, this is probably going to be the, if, if you had to save it at any time in this game, like, if you're not very good at this, I would say this is, this part is where probably the best time to actually physically save it um, for the finale, so. Oh, you see that little, uh, oh, sorry, it said uh, various research materials, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see, obviously, the one spark. We need this, the platform key. I think it opens up the final door in the game, too, which, I mean, obviously, is right next to the train. I have to hurry and get this train, that train operational. Okay, okay, jeez. 
it, see? Last, I think that's this is the last ink ribbon of the game, too. There is one more typewriter. I put, wait, no. No, that's an item. Never mind. There's an item. Either box. But. Oops. Let's just merge those together. I'm just trying to decide if I want to put... Oh, yeah. We need to put all the healing items. But you do want to at least leave um, two slots available. So I could use the spark shot. The, the, like I said, the problem with the spark shot is it's kind of slow. But it does do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's do that. Just to show it off. Uh, but I do need to grab a lot of items uh, or to heal. And I also need um, to leave at least two slot two slots open for something obvious. But I don't want to say for right now. But Oops. Now bring a couple of healing items just in case we get some bad, just bad, some bad times for all, which, you know, could easily happen. All right. Yeah, I'm just mixing everything up. I mean, I probably could bring... I'll probably end up having to use a heal. Um, just because that's just how things go with me. But... Uh, I want to bring one more just because I'll probably end up... Yeah, let's go ahead. Because I'll probably end up having to use it anyway, so... Because I'll probably take some hits. And we had to use that key anyway, so... Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll show off the power of the spark shot. I said I'd show it off eventually, just you know, just took a while, so. Yeah, like I said, I probably it would be definitely a good idea to save here, so. But I think I'm confident enough I can I can do it without saving. At least better than my previous what I previously did this, so <laughs> with Leon anyway. That's that's the power of playing the game multiple times after that recording, which was a long time ago comparatively to these two. Device to open the tape, the tunnel gate. The power is not supplied. Okay. Um, and this way is uh, it's not immediately familiar, but this is where Leon comes from, or Claire. If you do Claire A path, whoever the A path is, is yeah. This is the elevator they go down. Um, uh, Leon does to get to this spot, but yeah, we can't do it because obviously we don't need to go up that way. So, just thought I'd show off like where the connection is to uh, Leon's or the A path character, as opposed to the B path. So anyway, let's. Oh yeah, this is where we came in for the B path. So anyway, let's open the door. We've used the platform key, so we're good to go. And there is a item box I'll show you, but well, let's just say you might not want to waste time here. Five minutes until detonation. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got the infamous timer, so we got five minutes to beat this thing. So, luckily, if you hit uh, boxes and stuff like that, it'll pause the time. But I don't think there's anything to grab. I think they... Oh, sorry. I said nothing important here. So, I'm not going to look around just because I know it's not important. And, you know, obviously, we got a timer here. So, you know, we have to be careful. we gotta, we got to run like the wind. Run right like the wind, bullseye. I need to go over here and open and check this. Storage for the high capacity plug. So I open it. I, I spent through that because the timer goes during the description. So, um, uh, except this part, but we'll take the joint plugs. I think the, this is the reason why you need two spots is because the game basically says, it, the game programmed it because you need to have those slots open. So forcibly, it purposely gives you two slots used for that because we'll need it for something else, which I like. Because they could have easily screwed you over if, paying attention so what was that noise that's nah, probably nothing all right let's check this a high yield generator the splice power from the inside of facilities in the train the high capacity plugs have been disconnected and the generator is not working yeah i was sorry i was, I was rushing in so oh yeah let's take a look at these really quick a uh, high power plug used to activate large generators i think it's the same for this one too yep okay and if we use it we use them both at the same time so Emergency mode has been activated. The power supply will be cut temporarily. The emergency drain will be activated upon restoration of the power. Okay, this is it, asshole, for the finale, or finale, the last the last encounter with Mr. X himself. Uh, he's basically, ow, he's a clone of Tyrant from the first game. But yeah, look at the spark shot. It just shoots like a beam of electricity at him. It's awesome. Look at that thing. I think it takes like five shots with, with it to uh, finish him off. 
Let's see. I can take one more hit. I'd be careful with uh, with with Mr. X here. Oh no. Okay. Now I, I probably have to heal now. Oh no, I can probably take one more hit. There we go. Here. Use this. Who are you? I wonder who that is. The shade, the shadow. Di now this part's annoying because. Depending on how Mr. X is programmed, he might stop you from picking up the gosh darn, <laughs> gosh darn rocket launcher, you piece of crap. Yeah, it's it's kind of bull crap, really. Because he might stop you from grabbing the damn thing. We need it to hit him. But yeah, we get the infamous rocket launcher. Yeah, this is why the game gave us two, um, uh, two open slots for it, just in case, um, to hit him with it so, or hit him with the. Oh, are you kidding me? You lose, big guy. Phew. And I wasted that extra shot. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole lot. Yeah, he's dead. But how did I miss? Let the second shot hit him. Oh my god, I can't believe that that's gonna make this next part a little bit more difficult because I don't have the extra power of the rocket launcher. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Oh, that is bullshit. Sorry, I had to curse there because uh that that's bull crap. Uh that actually kind of pees me off, actually. Alright, well. I think although the spark shot does do a lot of damage, we might be fine without it, but the rocket launcher really helps with this next part. Um, but I wasted it, so. And no, don't use the infinite rocket launcher because that. Wait, why do I have a knife here? Oh, because it was part of that spot. No, I'm not gonna use that. Okay, let me grab the. Actually, let me grab one more heal in just in case. Combine that, and then I'll grab the submachine gun for the finale. Luckily, the timer doesn't keep going while I'm in the uh, while I'm in the box here. So. Was it the other section? Or the other way down? Oh, but I didn't refill it up with the the, the thing. So now I'll just do it now. There we go. We'll just drop off the 22%. Where is that? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I missed with that shot. Are you kidding me? Good thing it gives you two, but the the thing is, the, there's a reason it gives you two shots. I wonder how that works if you if you miss with both. Are you just pretty much SOL'd at this point? So. Yeah, use the. Yeah, this is why. Well, the spark shot would work too, but I'm just using the machine gun for this. There we go. Feels so satisfying, man. All right, let's start this thing up. A device open the tunnel gate, which will turn on the switch. Yes. Yes. Hurry, hurry, quickly now. We're almost out of time. Hurry, Claire. You're an Amazon. Or wait, that's a that's Jill. Sorry. Sorry, Claire. You don't get the moniker of Amazon. Sorry. That's that's all Jill. She is the poster girl for Resident Evil. Hey, Sherry. No, no conversation. Okay. Although even though Jill's only in, well, actually, I think she's in quite a few of the games. So anyway, move the lever. Pull the lever. <laughs> with you. Claire. 
Sherry. Now we're not quite done yet. One more thing to go. What was that? I don't know, but we got one more thing left to go, Claire. And Leon, I don't think he actually helps us, does he? No, we're on our own, so, okay. But yeah, we got one more threat before we leave, and if you don't know who it is, well, you'll find out here in a second. Actually, can we just jump off this place? It's locked. Well, of course it is. It's a running train. Yeah, it's kind of weird for the fin finale, like, both characters don't team up to fight the final thing or whatever. It's just whoever B-mode version is, so. I mean, I think... You still should still control whoever B mode is, but I think the other characters should help you in some way. But no, it's all up to you. Warning: biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat: this train will detonate. No! What's wrong with this thing? I don't know. The door won't open. Why? Why do you build things like this, Umbrella? What's wrong with you? But yeah, we can't go in. We have to destroy whatever it is that's going to cause the train to explode, so. But what is it? It's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> God, Birkin, you really let yourself go for final boss time against Birkin. Now, if you have the machine, if you have the rocket launcher, this like severely reduces his HP, so you can actually do quite a bit of damage to it. But unfortunately, I missed, so now I have to resort to the submachine gun and the spark shot. So hopefully, I have enough ammo to finish him off. took like a million bullets to turn someone into a pile of goo but uh man he's even he's he's even being smeared out like whatever the smear feature is in like photoshop or whatever so all right let's get out of here yeah all it took was, actually let me see how many shots it actually took let's see what were we at before no he took quite a, like he took like 40 percent of the shots or Okay. 
okay, Sherry? I'm okay. Where's Leon? Leon? Leon! Right here. Leon! You're both safe. Just die. We've got to get out of here. Move it! Go! was a close one. That was pretty impressive back there, Sherry. It was nothing. I saw someone do that on TV once. Come on. We've got to move out. Now what's the problem? Is something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. Let's go. Go? Oh, you can't mean. Chris, I have to find you. <laughs> We end on a rockin' beat, yeah! Not as good as Still Dawn, but uh, it's still great. So, yep, that's it for Resident Evil 2, the whole story, the whole bing a bang So, what happens to Leon and Claire and Sherry? Well, for Leon, you need to play Resident Evil 4 to find out what happens to him. For Claire, a little bit sooner, because I think it's not too long after this, after, um, after Resident Evil 3, they do Resident Evil Code Veronica, which is her story completion after that, because I don't think she gets any other games after that. Maybe she's, maybe she's referenced in 6, maybe. And Sherry Birkin, she actually makes a reappearance in 6, Resident Evil 6. So if you want to know what happened to Sherry Birkin, play Resident Evil 6. Not too many spoilers, but she is in it. Um, but yeah, what can I say about Resident Evil 2? It is a great game, a much improvement over the first game, which I still hold, I still hold a soft spot for the original game. But 2 definitely took it up to the next notch with uh, the multiple player characters actually interacting with each other. Unlike in the Resident Evil 1, where they just played their path and they were basically locked up the whole game. In this one, you get to like co crisscross with each story. Plus, there's a replayability where if you do Leon path and Claire B path, you can play it again, but do, oh, let's look at the, uh, see Paul Hedder, Allison Court, Sally Shaheel. Um, I thought, actually, I thought the voice acting in this one was actually quite a bit better than the first game. Uh, unfortunately, not, it is cheesy at points, but not as cheesy. So it's hard to it's hard to not like one just because of the bad cheesiness and how funny that is, as opposed to two, which is actually a little bit more confident, but still good in its own way. But anyway, with the replayability, so if you do Leon A and Claire B, which I did, you can go back and do Claire A and Leon B, and there's similar beats to it, but there are some story elements that change slightly because of like because basically how the car flips during the first. Uh, cutscene where they the the police car where they get chased down by that I guess technically it wasn't chasing him down he was just zombified at that point uh, yeah Shinji Mikami thanks for a great game Kiji Defune which he was just a producer so that doesn't really mean much but Shinji, Shinji Mikami made all these great well most of the Resident Evils I think he did up to four and then went on to other projects after that but um, but yeah you could just do the other paths and so yeah this game has it all multiple paths multiple playthroughs, multiple uh, or characters to play as, and just uh, all different types of weapons, great music, and uh, and a great action scene there, and especially with the introduction of Mr. X on the B path, which just has, adds its own set of extra annoyance, which they take that feature and inc incorporate it into Nemesis, which is the third game. So, and yeah, there's a picture of uh, um, Claire taking um, Sherry to who knows where. Anyway, we get the rank A. Nice. Yeah, because I did no saves on this. I, this was all... I had to pause, and I had to be quick about how to do pausing and stuff like that, because if you pause in this game, the timer still goes, so I had to, like, really quickly set up another recording session, like, right afterwards, so I had to try to keep my saves down to, like, zero. Um, and yeah, and uh, Claire takes care of Sherry for whatever. So there's a couple of things that happen when we beat a path um, with like Leon, which I already did, and then with Claire. One, we get um, we get new uh, infinite items in our item box because previously when we did a path a the a ending with uh, Leon, we got um, we got the infinite rocket launcher, and if we do it with Claire, we get uh, we get infinite machine gun and we get infinite Gatling gun, which is a, a treat. Uh, yeah, let's. Save, uh, actually, yeah, let's save over a different slot. What, what's this? You can play another scenario if you make a new save data. 
Yeah, they're talking about um, if you play, uh, uh, if you could do Claire A and Leon B path if you want to do that. So that's that's what they're talking about there. But well, there's a couple of things that also happens as well if you get A with both uh, Claire and um, let me do another save for the arranged mode. Hmm. What is this question mark that appears as well? EX battle? What? What is that? You can play another scenario if you make a new save data. What's this? One of the umbrella people? What does that mean? We locked all this type of stuff for uh, for um, beating the game. Now, you do have to beat the game on A mode to unlock all this stuff. So um, some of this, uh, some things unlock if you do rank B. But if you do rank A, you unlock like all the infinite stuff. And you unlock... Um, um, you unlock the alternate playthroughs, and in this case, Hunk, the unknown, uh, the, the fourth survivor, the unknown umbrella associate that during the cutscene where you see all those umbrella characters fight, well, Hunk was one of them. So yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff to do now that we've beaten the game. Uh, so we can do EX battle mode, we can play as Hunk, and uh, you can also replay the game with Leon and play, use the infinite machine gun and um, Gatling gun, which will be in his... Uh, item safe because now that we've beaten the game but for the main story itself we're going to leave it here uh like i said if you want to know what happens to claire play resident evil code veronica leon resident evil 4 and cherry burke and resident evil 6 we're going to leave the story there but we got one more bonus episode for resident evil 2 where we play the hunk playthrough which is just it's just a quick little playthrough of isolated areas where you play as like a kind of a hard mode to survive from to get from the beginning and to the end with very little story, but it's an interesting concept, and I like it. And there's another reward you get if you do really well with it. But we'll save that for the bonus content. But for the game itself, we'll leave it there. So um, hope you enjoyed the Claire playthrough. It was definitely a lot less episodes than the Leon one, for sure, because I was a bit more prepared, and I kind of just zoomed through the game this time as Claire. But I still try to uh, talk about stuff and uh, and click on stuff to interact with it. So you, I kind of showed you what was missing from there. And it took quite a few years to finish the Claire Pass, so I do apologize about that as well. But it's it's said and done, and maybe in the future, maybe sometime down the line, I'll do Claire's A path and Leon's B path, and it might be a lot more smoother because I've you know I've gotten back in the groove of how to play this game again. But uh, it won't be immediately. Maybe sometime in the future. But I'll leave it there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next game.